Hello tubers and welcome to Cooper's Thai Adventures and today we are going to be going to one of the best supermarkets in the Philippines it's called SNR so join us on our travels and we're gonna show you just how busy these roads can get out here and how crazy the driving is and we're gonna go to SNR and I'm gonna show you why it's the best and what you can actually get there so uh, stay tuned Welcome back. Here we go. We're uh, just driving, going to be driving out of our gated community. And uh, I'm not going to be holding the camera once I get on the main road, obviously. Uh, that's going to be done by my trusty assistant, my daughter, Leah. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, live in uh, General Trias Cavite in a gated community and uh, what it means by gated is there's security here um, and uh, it's paid for by the housing association and uh, it's a uh, 24 7 security so they got condos here at the front and this is where Brooke lived just up here at the top uh, you may remember him from my uh, previous videos uh, they all got those little window type AC units you can see there I will give you a tour of the place um, in a later video not today the model homes they got but you, you don't have to build one of the model homes you can build your own home to how, how you want it within uh, planning permission of course and uh, just about to come out the main gate. Wait for the little mo moped driver. And there's the security. He's going to give me a nice little wave. There he goes. And we hit the main road. goes a Filipino jeepney past us so we do have a uh, right outside our complex we've got KFC here on the right pure gold is a Filipino supermarket on the left you got a Mer mercury drugstore McDonald's just across the traffic lights here you've got uh, Jollibee and Burger King turning down a side road and uh, down this road is where Leanne Bunchy go to public school Leanne's gonna be uh, switched to private school now she's in high school she starts uh, eighth grade next month. I'm hoping that uh, you'll get to see a little bit of what uh, Philippines is like. And it's not going to be your typical travel video, you know, where everybody glorifies it. I'm going to give you the hard truth, what it's actually like. This is what you're going to see if you come here. A few moments later, the most trusted assistant fell asleep. So, hello and welcome back. We are at SNR um, Cash and Carry, which is one of the Philippines' best supermarkets. And it's what is SNR? It's Cash and Carry, just like we got back in the States, Costco, and Thailand's equivalent is called Macro. Let's have a look inside. So here we are inside uh, SNR. They got everything pretty much like Costco's TVs bedding, wash machines, air conditioners, and uh, so forth, pots and pans, small oven, just give you an idea of the price there, is $17,396, refrigerators, $17,000. 
Samsung refrigerator here. In pesos is 61,995. It doesn't have the water dispenser or the uh, screen like I've got on mine. But uh, just walking on through, get everything here from clothes to uh, dried goods, frozen goods. If you want to buy a separate refrigerator or freezer, they got them here. Ice maker. That is one thing I've been looking all over for. An ice maker. We really need one for Thailand. So I think I'm going to buy this and I'm going to take it back with us. The price is 7,995 pesos. Alcohol here. Um, they got all different sorts. You got your Johnny Walkers black labels, you've got uh, your Jack Daniels and Coke in the cans, um, and that'll run you 309 pesos for a pack of four, which is uh, $6. What do you think? Bargain? <laughs> you tell me in the comments below. And then you got all your Snacks, you got your muffins, you got your cookies, you got your cakes. Hello. All different all different cakes going through here. Sorry if I'm going to a little a little fast. The, the store is quite big. There's a lot to get through. Hoping I'm not making my viewers too dizzy. And look at that. You got Twinkies and you got ding dongs for my US viewers. So a pack of ten Twinkies or 10 ding-dongs is going to cost you 400 pesos, 3.99, roughly $8. Give or take a little. And then you got your cakes, various size cakes. They'll uh, put birthday, uh, happy birthday on there for you if you want. And you can get them to order. But uh, why do I like this supermarket so much? Um, well, it ain't for the sweet stuff. I'm diabetic. <laughs> so, but what I do like about it is that it's got a fantastic supply of Western goods. And uh, your local supermarkets here um, in... Uh, in Philippines doesn't have that fantastic supply of Western goods. You've got a very limited supply. I'd say probably less than 5%. You know, you're gonna find ketchup and mustard and pickles, <laughs> but you know, not a lot else. So uh, if I just come on over here to the freezer section, which is like, you know, most of the imports, you, know, you got your Sara Lee cakes, your Hot Pockets, sausage, egg, and cheese Hot Pockets, great for breakfast. Uh, if you like your waffles, they got your waffles there. Moving on along. Down here, you got beer battered caught. Fantastic. You know, cod's a good fish made in England. You got your TGI Friday mozzarella sticks. Moving on along. You got your El Monterey burritos. I like burritos. Pop them in the oven. I don't like putting them in the microwave. And uh, you get your corn dogs. Hot Pockets, four cheese pizzas, you know, and a lot of the stuff is imported for you from Europe. You know, Marie Callender pies, you know, they're, they're from England. You know, the Hot Pockets from the States. So you get quite a nice supply. Hungry Man, 
I know a lot of single Americans, you know, that are sitting there on their sofa, don't have a woman to cook for them. Hungry man, man, that fed me for many a years when I was single. Uh, you got your Sara Lee pies and everything else to go with it. All your different ice creams. Hagen dazs Ben and Jerry's, Snickers ice cream, this is my favorite, I can't eat it anymore, spikes my sugar too much, Baskin Robbins, big bags of french fries, we went on along, squeezing through here, thank you sir, uh, mixed vegetables, and the Philippines' favorite, tender juicy. They love them. They're like their equivalent of our hot dogs. And uh, look, you got all the different Johnsonville uh, hot dogs. You got the hot and spicy chicken and cheese, smoked chicken sausage, garlic, you know, smoked sausage, better and cheddar. They got it here. You got your Polish sausages here, your uh, big league, league uh, hot Hot links, they got them here as well. Brown and served, original American sausages there. We like the taste of our sausages. And then you get Angus hamburger patties. And uh, for trying to see how many is in there, well, quite a lot from what I can see, but uh, it's 2,000, uh, 18 pieces it says, 2,119 pesos. So that's $41, $42 thereabouts. And you get your bacons. You got your turkeys. Hard to find in the Philippines, but you come to SNR, you're gonna get them. You got your baby back ribs, your premium smoked ham, steakums. You remember Steakums, guys? Yeah, I remember Steakums. <laughs> uh, $8 for a pack of Steakums. Your, uh, your beef, your meats, imported. Then over the back here, you got all your cheeses, your dairies, your hams. Uh, this is what I like. I like the coffee mate. And what I get is I get the hazelnut flavor zero sugar for diabetics great stuff that great stuff put that in the basket take back to the house you got your orange juices and your creamers you know you got florida's natural orange juices moving all along your butters your lure pack so Another thing that I really like about here at this supermarket is the meat is super fresh. Super fresh meat. You know, you can get every, any part of a pig you want. They got it here. You know, you got your lamb, you got your pork. More pork here. You got your pork ground meat there. And let's just see here. So pork ground meat, this one here, for example, is 515 pesos for 1.6 kilos. Don't ask me to convert kilos to pounds. Can't do it in my head. But that is $10 thereabouts. Not bad, huh? And you got your beef, and your steaks, and so forth. Your fresh fruits over there. Your rice is here. Let's take a look at the dry goods section, see what we got there. So here we are in the dry section. You got your tang juices, you got your Kool-Aid Tropical Punch, Country Time Lemonade, Pink Lemonade. Uh, just pick one of these at random, Tang, Tang Kool-Aid, save 150 uh, pesos, it's now 749. 
$15. Around about just under $15. Moving on along, you got your Starbucks, your Ocean Sprays. Your orange juice, Del Monte pineapple juice, if you like your pineapple juice. I just passed it, but I even saw that they sell V8. Great drink. Ocean Spray cranberry juice. There you go, for uh, $8 or three liters. Not too bad. Now, yes, you can get all this in Thailand, too, but uh, not so much on a grand scale. Macro, um, it's got quite a lot of imported foods, but uh, it's not as big as this. But you can get it. You can get it in Thailand. It's not a problem. But very hard to find in the Philippines unless you come here to SNR and you take out the membership. You got enough, um, which costs, I think, it costs about... $20 for the year, if, I'm, if I remember right. I might be wrong. It was like 10 months ago I took out my membership. And uh, I think that's what I paid. Your Smith Smith's hot chocolate, which the kids absolutely love. They like this one here with the marshmallows in it. Your powdered coffee, mate. And your uh, long life milk get it all here got your coffee here so you got your Folgers those are in the States 16 ounces of Folgers 849 well that's uh, just under $17 so yeah it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than you used to in the States for your American stuff but you're gonna the reason is you, you know it's traveling a long way you know import costs and whatnot so it's just something you have to bear if you want that sort of thing now uh, I can't eat the Filipino food I just don't have a taste for it and I'm not saying it's bad it just doesn't suit me I know a lot of foreigners that do like it but for me not very good but you got your van camps pork and beans Hormel chili Yams, Bruce's yams, and we got them there as well. Imported from the States. I see you got the American flag on there. 179 uh, pesos there. Under four dollars. You got your Vlasic pickles. I know I like my pickles. I'm big on pickles. I like my kosher dill pickles, and they got them here. Your, uh, there's Leanne and Daddy. Grandma. <laughs> and we'll just keep moving on along. Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce is two nine nine in pesos, just under six dollars. Craft barbecue sauce, original. Uh, for her 82 ounce, 445, eight and a half dollars thereabouts. Then you got your Crisco, all vegetable and butter flavor. All your different salad dressings. Your tomato ketchup, your French's mustard. Let's just take a look at stab at the French's mustard, 30 ounce, 289, so between five and six dollars. Sweet relish, which I like. And uh, that's 259, um, so five dollars, thereabouts. 
Then you can buy the pack with the ketchup, the relish, and the mustard. Six ninety nine. Over there. For those of the sweet tooth, you got Duncan Hines. Hershey's cookies. What is this? Snickers Shakers seasoning blend. Okay. <laughs> A and W dessert toppers. Hershey's. Bunch of noodles from all over the world. You got your jellos, you got your arm and hammer. Good for cleaning out the refrigerator right there. Baking soda. Get rid of any bad smells you got in there. You get your different seasoning. And then over on this side, you got your noodles. If you like eating spaghetti and pasta, they got... They got it all here. You got your ragu chink, chunky six cheese sauce, two hundred nine, four dollars. I think the prices are pretty much going up all over the world. You know, with inflation skyrocketing. Down here, you got your household items, which don't really care about at this time. I'm sure. You're not here. And if you are here, you already know about it. You got your pet foods. Your uh, diapers and baby wipes. All your different hair care products. Shaving gels, razors. Women's hair products here. And I uh, just want to say thank you to the 20% women that are on my channel that my analytics tell me about. You know, I just hit that big milestone today. Oh, yeah. I have hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm now at 1,002 subscribers. I hit that big milestone. I am so happy. And me and Darlene, we want to say a big thank you to all our subscribers. You know, uh, without you, this wouldn't have been possible. We appre appreciate you guys very much. We're not forgetting you. You know, when you leave us comments, we answer them as quickly as possible. You know, and uh, what you want to see, we're going to vlog, you know. So keep putting your ideas there, you know. Well, I've had several say, hey, we want to see food prices, you know. What is it like at the grocery store, you know. Please show us. We're showing you. So let's continue on and see what else they got. So, moving on along, we've got uh, all your different vitamins, your Centrum vitamins. Uh, vitamins are very important. I take mine every day. I take my one a day. Uh, Darlene likes taking our collagen there. And uh, if you want to check the prices, and I'm not calling them out, just pause the video, have a look, and... Uh, you can see the prices, taking it nice and easy, trying not to make everybody dizzy there who's watching on their TV in their living room. But uh, I got a pretty healthy uh, supply here of vitamins, goes all the way down. And I take my one a day for over 50s, 53 years old. So I take them daily. And you got your NyQuil and DayQuil, which is extremely hard to find and quite often sells out. And for your cold and flu, it is $1,899. Um, I'm, I'm going to call that at uh, 38 bucks, roughly. Then you got all your different creams or your lotions. And I got a lot of brothers and sisters that uh, watch my channel and I get a lot of emails as well as comments in the comment section 
And uh, people have asked me, how easy is it to get grits? You know, in Asia. Well, I couldn't find them anywhere in the Philippines. So what we did is, is me and a couple of friends, uh, Mac and John, we uh, went to uh, the Freeport, which is where Subic Naval Base was um, when the American military were here. And um, they still have there the old commissary. And at the old commissary, what they do is they have a lot of duty-free imports and we're able to find them there. But at the, there's two free ports in the Philippines. One is in Angeli City, which was uh, Clark Air Force Base, those of you may remember. And, uh, and uh, that did not have the grits. But when we went to Subic, we did find them. And uh, my buddy uh, Mac, if he's watching this, um, he bought quite a lot, you know, so because it's a five hour trip from the house, uh, from where we all live in the gated community, that uh, he really didn't want to make that trip a second time. He really, really didn't. So <laughs> he bought a large supply. So if and when he ran out, he was able to go and get them that way. But you can also order them on Amazon and, you know, they'll deliver. Amazon now ships free to the Philippines and uh, Thailand, which is great. Um, I think you have to order a minimum amount to uh, to get that, and there's a maximum amount as well. So I'm not sure of what they are, but I remember somebody telling me about it. And this is SNR. You got your gym stuff, your basketball stuff. Little playhouses, you got a garden for the kids, small kids. Barbecue stuff, I got that full set there. That's a good set right there. It was a good 24-piece um, Hamilton Beach barbecue set. Um, and it's gone down. I paid 2399 which was that. It's now gone down and uh it's 1599 so it's uh about 30 dollars and uh i paid uh over 40 for it but uh no, it's a good set a very very good set for barbecues i like my barbecues and then you get all your gardening stuff you know and you got your house furniture too. Now, we did look at buying uh, furniture here for our living. We, we only got the two seats. The kids use it more than we do. Or they're upstairs in their bedroom or on the balcony with their friends or at the pool with their friends, you know. Um, but uh, I'm gonna get rid of them. And uh, they're old now, time to throw them away. Here you can see, for example, this L shaped sectional with the cup holders, and then you lift this up here for storage. There's two there, and the ends are recliners. Um, and it's from America, it says here. And that there is 69,999. So do the conversion on that. I've taught you the math. Let's see if you can do it in your head. <laughs> but uh, that's $1,200 thereabouts. I see you couldn't do it. And people make fun of me and my conversions. <laughs> and it's okay. It's okay. You know, I never said I was the brightest spark in the engine block, you know, so take it as you will. I didn't get tires for your cars, just like back in the States at Costco, guys, you know. 
macro in uh, Thailand, very similar to this, just on a bit smaller scale. And if you are traveling to Asia, you know, and you're thinking of retiring, these are extremely handy, the universal plugs. So they got the, the Philippines style plug there on one end, and then you got your universal, so you can put anything in there. But uh, don't bring your American uh, electrical stuff unless you got a transformer, because uh, they will blow um it's a lot higher voltage here it's 220 so uh compared to 120 back in the states 110 and that concludes today's tour of snr let me know what you think now uh got quite a lot of stuff here and before we go i need to give a shout out i had a gentleman that sent me an email and he's a uh, asian american i don't know if i have his permission to put his name out so i'm not going to do it but he knows who it is and he asked for me for some advice on visas and stuff and i gave him the best advice i could give him and i didn't ask anything for doing it you know and he bought me a couple coffees on the buy me a coffee link so you know who you are brother thank you so much we really do appreciate it and to all of you out there, uh, I did say when I hit 1,000, I'm going to do a live stream. Well, I've looked on my YouTube channel analytics, and it says I need 4,000 views as well as 1,000 subscribers of uh, viewing hours. Um, I'm now just short of that, but it's not showing me on the analytics. It takes a few days to update. I'm expecting in the next week or two, it'll update. I'll get that fantastic email saying, hey, you know, you can now do live streams and you can apply for monetization. Um, that takes several months as well. So um, I'm hoping within the next couple of weeks, if not um, before I leave the Philippines, definitely when I hit Thailand, you know, we'll be able to do that. And what I'd like you to do, the viewer, is tell me what is a good day and time for me to do the live stream where you can participate ask myself and Darlene all the questions that you would like to ask keep them decent keep them PG we do have kids um, and uh, you can ask us the questions that you want answering you know we'll have a good debate and a good discussion on it let's see how it goes but uh, for all of you that have subscribed, thank you so much for letting, uh, helping us hit that milestone of 1,000. We will never forget our subscribers. Thank you so much. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe, please. Let's see if we can rock this channel. Till next time, wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless, and thank you for watching Cooper's Thai Adventures. Bye-bye.